that, Christine, the family are just the nicest people, very loving, and tonight they're really struggling. They say all that Aaron Orozco was doing was trying to provide for his family, including his three-year-old daughter and nine-year-old son with autism. In Linwood tonight, there's no way to hug away the pain or the anger. 38-year-old Aaron Orozco, a Marine veteran, served in both Iraq and Afghanistan, only to be gunned down in his hometown. He was in war and saved himself, says his cousin Manuel Ramirez in Spanish, and for nothing. Orozco, a father of two young children, was driving for Uber early Friday morning and pulled into this 7-Eleven on Imperial Highway with two passengers. Deputies say there was a fight and one passenger shot and killed him, then fled in Orozco's Honda. Deputies later found the car, but no sign of the suspects. It just seems like I'm in a nightmare, you know. It just doesn't seem real to me. Orozco's widow says he worked nights so he could care for their two children while she worked during the day. Now she's struggling to explain, daddy is gone. When I'm alone, that's when it gets me, you know? Right now, I just, I don't think about it. I just think what I have to do right now. But I don't think about the hurt. The hurt is stuck inside. Family members had worried about Orozco driving at night, but the proud Marine veteran assured his now grieving father it would be okay. Yeah, I remember my son, when my son, when my son is smiling, you know, he's a good, good son. And Uber has issued a statement sending their condolences to the family. In the meantime, sheriff's deputies say this happened about 1.30 this morning, and they're asking anyone with information on the suspects to give them a call.